exercises, so a waist whittling um, workout today, a nice another little quickie, 10 minutes only. So we're going to begin obviously just stretching out the waist nice and quickly. So legs wide, sweeping up and down. Start raising the arms up higher. And then we're going to link fingers, push up tall, stretch, 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 elongate the waist. Now turn to look to the one side. And then we're going to slowly, keeping the belly in, and with a flat back, come forward, swoop down, dangle, pause, and then up. So you're facing to the other side, push up tall, and then turn center, and release. Do as many of those as you like, that's lovely. So um, to begin, we're going to be against the wall or lean on a window case or table, back of chair. Window case, what am I saying, window sill. And um, we're going to bring our foot up and because I want you to focus on, on the waist, press your foot against your calf muscle. So, and that stays there so you can only use your hip muscle. And we're going to begin just by twisting in, pushing up, Bring it down, push back. Okay, so you can feel all those waist muscles working. Keeping that foot pinned, because if the foot is free, you see you start using your, your leg to move the hip and you want to use just your waist muscles. So you can really feel that lovely stretch. So your hips drawing what I like to call a smile or a sort of U shape. Try, as ever, pelvic floor in, belly button in. So you've got nice and supported there. And you should start to feel it. I know, I know the support leg gets tired. Okay. So keep it forward, push it up, 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 up. I know your leg's tired, I can hear. And up, up, up. Swing it back, push back, back back still got that foot pinned to the calf muscle so you're really using that leg oh shake the legs out we'll do the other side okay my darlings so just bend that knee get the foot pinned to the inside of the supporting leg get your see how I'm slightly arched so you do that little tuck belly in pelvic floor muscle pulled up and we're just going to twist it forward swing push it back twist it forward and back forward and back lovely so drawing that smile push 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 so using all the waist muscles from the rib cage downwards okay and now twist swing it forward and pulse it up push 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 feeling that my darlings you can really feel the stretch it's lovely and with your arm up i'm doing this for demonstration purposes but it also helps you to access the rest of those waist muscles pushing up 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 and now we're going to push it back 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 oh ooh, cute Push, 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 shake it out. No, that's not it. No, there's more to come. So we're going to swap back to the first leg. Keep your support knee fairly soft, by the way. Don't have it bolt upright. So again, bring that, rest that foot on the support leg. Get your pelvic tuck, pelvic floor up belly button in. Now we're going to draw circles. Okay, so really explore the range that your waist muscles allow. I'm hearing all interesting little clunks and clicks. Great for the spine. So you're really just rubbing a very cute, slightly naughty 
hip circle, keep that leg pinned, but pinned against the leg to ensure that it's all the waist that's working and reverse direction. That somehow is even cuter. <laughs> okay, don't forget, keep the pelvic floor and the abs pulled in nice and strong, supporting the back, keeping your posture. Lovely. I'm really starting to get, <laughs> get hot. Oh. Um, Temperature-wise, I'm talking temperature-wise. And then tuck, bring that knee in, pull up that pelvic floor, belly nice and firm, and we'll start rotating. And again, really explore just how, what your full range of motion is. Okay. Really pull that hip down, swoop it forward, push it up. So it's quite a large amount of muscle ligaments working here. Have you got that foot pinned against that inner leg? Do you have your abs pulled in and your pelvic floor? <laughs> and then change direction. If you find that it's too much on your support leg, because obviously that's supporting the full weight, then just put your toe to the floor so it's not taking so much Okay, shake that out. Good. So we're going to continue extending out the range of motion. So we're going to start with our classic outside Maya. Soft knees, hip width apart. So you're going to push your hip up, push it out, 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 out as you lower the heel. And then up, so you're up off the heel. And you're pushing that hip as high up as you can possibly get it. And then you're going to push it away from you in a straight line as you lower the heel. So you're pushing up, push out, up. Delicious stretch for this outside of thigh as well. So we want to start making, although this is a lovely stretch, it's more for the hips. So what we want to do is bring the focus back to the waist. And we're going to bring our legs in. And so, you can't see, but I've got my heel off the ground. You're gonna push your hip up as high as you can and keeping your thighs together, you're gonna lower that down, push up and out, up and out. So you see how it's now all about the waist muscle. So, if I could step back a little more even, so your thighs stay pinned together and you're pushing really as high as you can before you lower but because your thighs have to stay pinned together then um, you're having to your range of going outwards isn't so much but it's all about how high you are go for really high 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 and high so you can really feel those waist muscles stretching and toning, keeping those thighs. So you'll see my knees, one crosses in front of the other if need be. Actually you don't want that because you want to keep just going straight out, straight out. You don't, we're not doing a rolling back. So it's just up out, up out. Similar lines, um, idea, keep your legs really pinned together and we're just going to press in a hip circle. Now remember that posture, crunch in, pelvic floor up, your knees are pinned together, you're going to keep the top half really still and you're going to just use those weight, waist muscles to move your hips. Try not to push too much with your knees, you don't want your knees to do all the work, you want to really explore using those waist muscles. Change direction. Try and breathe. <laughs> Remember your posture muscles. Keep it all pulled in and up. Lovely, and shake it out. Now, we're going to do a little bit more upper, the longer section of the, the waist muscles. So this is a favourite stretch of mine, which many of you will be familiar with. So reach, have your arms in a straight line, 
keep that pelvic tuck, posture muscles. Now reach, 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 reach far as you can. So already you're getting a strong pull here. Now let's make it work harder. By the way, don't forget, keep that all pulled in and tight. So you're bringing that top arm over, adding weight. So that waist is really working hard to hold you there. Really extending and stretching out. If it's uncomfortable to have your top arm like this, bring it behind if that helps, or maybe just bring it across. So you're just trying to add to the weight that your waist is supporting. And really keep those abs pulled in. You can have a slight pelvic tuck. Okay, reach, and then stretch a little further, and then slightly come up, oh, and we reach away again. And then we slightly come up, and then we reach. And we slightly come up, and then we reach. And we slightly come up, and then we reach. And then we keep reaching, and we keep reaching. And then slowly, really pulling your stomach in so strongly, come up. Whew, and we breathe. Good. So the other side, so keep that stretch, that tuck. Arms straight line, and now feed, 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 feed. That arm, you're still keeping it really straight and it's going as far as it can. Keep those abs pulled in. Keep reaching, pelvic floor up. And then let's start bringing in the arm. Nice bit of extra weight, crunch it in. So you're trying to keep that back shoulder back. Uh, if you come forward, the waist's not working anymore. It's all in your lower back. So you really want to keep your chest square to the front. It doesn't matter how high you can bring the arm up. Um, the most important thing is that your shoulders and chest stay square to the front. And then just keep reaching, keep reaching, reach, 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 reach. So if on the other side you're thinking, oh, this is a bit easy, check what your posture was doing. Check how you were, your frame and that your chest was facing front. Okay, so reach, reach, reach. Squeeze in those abs slightly, come up. And then reach slightly, come up, and then reach slightly, come up, and reach slightly, come up, and reach, keep reaching, keep reaching, crunch it all in, slow, 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 <sighs> and we breathe, shrug it out, good. So, um, got to finish with twists. Twists are such an efficient way of working all the way up your sides. So, my, one of my all time favorite traveling moves is the pull down twist. So it's an alternating twist. So you step, heel, raise, twist, step, heel, raise, twist. So it begins as an alternating twist, which will speed up and then come back. But now we want to increase the work. So we're going to bring our arms up and then as the hip twists forward, the elbow comes behind and then the elbow comes behind. So it's a twist, 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 twist. So you've got a piece of string that you're slightly pulling a little bit one way and pulling the other. You're not bringing your whole arm down. It's just a little bit and a little bit. And it's making that waist, those waist muscles work much harder. And oh, I love this. <laughs> so twist and twist, twist and twist. Go around on the spot for variety. Don't forget, keep certain amount of tension in the posture muscles. Okay, as so we come round. So more of those you do. If you spend five minutes dancing around the room doing those, that's a, that's a waist whittler in itself. And finally, another of my favorites. So with the corkscrew twist. So that's where your hips will start sitting. Obviously tucked. You're going to swing that hip back and then you're going to twist it as you come up off the heel on that side and then you swing back sit down okay so you start from behind you twist it up you sit it down twist it up sit down twist and down twist and down use your arms to really bring in that twist but don't make it passive don't make the arms do all the work really squeeze in your abs to make 
in a much stronger controlled movement. Twist, sit, twist, sit, twist, sit. And now choppy arms, slow. So we're gonna go high and low. So on the low, our arms are low. As the hip comes up, our arms go up. So twist low, twist high, twist low, twist high, twist low, twist high. Again, if you do enough of these in a day, it works as a waist whittler in itself. And I'm starting to break out of sweat now. <laughs> so changing hip. So again, sitting low, the hip starts from behind and the heel is raised. You squeeze it up, 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 up and forward. And then you sit back down. And the more of an angle you start, so if you're starting with your hip square, it's just a normal twist. You really want to start with that hip back as far as it can. And then when you come up, twist it as far forward as it can to get the full range of the muscles. So sit, squeeze up, sit, squeeze up. Sit, squeeze up, remember your posture muscles. <laughs> Pull up that pelvic floor. Twist and up, twist, sit, twist, sit. So get a good swivel on the ball of that foot. The more you can swivel, I'm burning a hole on the floorboards here. And then we start with the arms. So the arms are always opposite to the hip. So that is that way. <laughs> so that's low and high low and high, low and high, low and high. If the arms are confusing, just go back to normal arms at shoulder height. This is partly to give a little bit of extra work for the waist and the sides to do. The hands feed it up, oh. <laughs> and then shake it out. And I reckon do that weekly and you'll soon have a lovely toned waist muscle one. So well done my darlings and I'll bring you some more little 10 minute workouts soon.